Welcome back to another episode of Some Things Fishy. Today we have a really cool video for you. We're talking about clownfish compatibility. When we went to the store to get a couple of clownfish, there were so many to choose from and we weren't really sure which ones would be compatible with other ones. So we wanted to make a video diving into clownfish compatibility so that you as the viewer can know exactly what types of clownfish will work well with other ones. Clownfish are one of the fish in the saltwater realm that are bred in captivity. And because of that, we've gotten lots of new colors, lots of really cool variations of them. But also due to that breeding in captivity, there's a lot of types of clownfish that have just gone a little bit too far and can be a lot more aggressive and not as compatible as other breeds might be towards each other. That's why we created this ultimate guide to clownfish compatibility so that you as the viewer can know exactly what types of clownfish are safe to put in your tank so that they're not aggressive towards one another or aggressive towards other fish in your tank. After conducting some research and talking with some professionals in the field, we've come up with three simple tips to help you find clownfish that are going to be compatible and pair well with one another. Tip number one is to stick to friendly clownfish species. A couple examples of these are Ocellaris, Percola, and Skunk. There are tons of different variations of the Ocellaris clownfish. The cool thing about them is that they range in totally different types of colors, and they also come in a total variety of different price ranges. You can get an Ocellaris for $12, and it's kind of that simple Nemo format, but you can also get an Ocellaris that's up to $200. And it just depends on your price range, but the good thing is, no matter what type of breed of Ocellaris it is, they're most likely going to do well together in the same tank. They'll, they won't be as aggressive towards one another, and they'll just be great together. Percolas are another type of clownfish, although they're not quite as common, but you can find them in a variety of different types of price ranges as well. Percolas should be fine with Ocellaris clowns, but if you want to play it safe, keep Percolas with Percolas and Ocellaris clowns with Ocellaris clowns. Maroon clownfish are widely known to be one of the most aggressive species of clownfish. If this is the one that you want to get, just use caution because they could be aggressive to even fish of their own species, let alone other fish in your tank. Tip number two is very simple. When you're buying a clownfish in the store, they're not going to put in clownfish that aren't compatible in the same tank. So if there's a bunch of clownfish in there that are dealing well with the other ones, feel free to buy one, two, or even three of those clownfish if you want. They're going to do well together. Tip number three is to monitor the social interaction of the fish. So there are some species of clownfish that are just more aggressive than others. And there are also just some individual fish that are just born more aggressive as well. So just take a look at the fish that you're looking to buy. Make sure he's not picking on other ones and you should be okay. We hope that this video helps you pick out the most compatible clownfish in the store for your tank. Keep in mind that whatever type of fish you're looking to buy, just make sure that it is friendly to the other fish in its tank. If that's the case, it should be okay in your tank as well. Also remember that it's always going to be safer to pick the same fish that are from the same breed and have the same color patterns. If that's the case, and if they're individually just good, nice fish to others around them, you're going to be okay as well. If you want to kind of spread out and get an orange clownfish as well as one of the white ones with polka dots, it could be okay if they're both os Ocellaris, but it might be a little bit of a risk. 